The city of Oroville is working to clean up what one council member is calling an environmental problem throughout its south side. Action News Now reporter Esteban Reynoso shows us some of the sites overflowing with junk and how neighbors feel about it. Here on Rose Bend Avenue in Orville, this alleyway is riddled with trash seeping over from a blight site not too far from here that Councilmember Janet Goodson says must be dealt with. This one in particular, I wanted to put immediate attention to. It becomes a toxic environment like this when um, it affects the health and the well-being and the welfare of the residents. It, uh, the city must step in. And one neighbor who did not want to be identified agrees that something has to be done. I mean, you see what it is. It's gross. It's disheartening. A blighted property, according to the penal code, is declared a public nuisance. And this isn't the only site with clear damage and code violations. Here on this site, there are five mobile homes all crammed into one area. And this is an issue that Councilmember Janet Goodson wants to get fixed. So I reside in this community. Yeah. I do a grid in this community, not once, not twice a week, but every single day I'm in different portions. I mean, if you're going to make us pay taxes on this stuff, at least take care of it. Hopefully they take care of it. Yeah. Hopefully they push. On. Hopefully this does something. You can look at that alley and the alley down past here. You can look at any alley and you can see how bad this one is compared to those. A habitable structure for, for a a single family to reside in and be proud in and, and raise their kids. Councilmember Goodson tells me this is a complicated process, but is hoping to fill the department sooner rather than later. In Orville, Esteban Reynoso, Action News Now coverage you can count on. And the department will be filled with eight city staff members all on city payroll. If you want to submit a complaint, you can go to the city of Oroville's code enforcement website.